Today I'm gonna be showing you guys 15 sneakers under 150 bucks. Oh yeah, and spoiler alert, there's no Jordan 4s on this list. But don't worry, I found some really great options for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. We have the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Black Cement. Now these recently came out and they're going for just over retail. And these are priced at just around 130 bucks in a size 13. We're gonna be doing relative to a size 13 because that's what I am. So also understand that in this video, you guys are gonna be able to see sneakers that are going for below these values because you might wear a smaller size. So take that into account as well because you might actually be able to get a better deal on some of these shoes that I list in today's video. Now for this shoe in particular, this is a sneaker that I look forward to adding to my collection. They came out when I was out of town. I was busy, but don't be surprised if you see me rocking these this summer. And that's another reason why I put them on the list because I wanted to make sure I curated a bunch of different shoes that I would actually like to wear as well. And if you don't like this low top version, but you're still kind of a fan of the shoe and like high top, they have a white cement version in the high top OG cut as well. And that pair is also going to be going for somewhere around 130 to 100 and 40 bucks which is well under the retail value so if you see these sitting at your local retail or outlets you should be able to get these on a discount and save some money for those type of purchases or if you are buying it in the resale market you're still going to be able to buy these below retail and definitely still be able to get them for under 150 bucks now those two shoes definitely have a lot of character when it comes to the print throughout the entire upper so i get why some people may not like the shoe so let's tone it down a little bit and go to something a little bit more simple like the white pure platinum dunk low these are going to be hovering just around retail or just above retail you should be able to go into your local retail shops and find this shoe if not maybe catching it somewhere in the resale market for just above that retail value but either way you're going to be spending 120 130 bucks 110 bucks somewhere around there on this sneaker and this is going to be kind of like a jordan one but yes it is a dunk so it is a switch up on the model everybody likes dunks it's a clean shoe great for the summertime and to be able to get an affordable pair of dunks now in this current time i think is a great thing because we definitely saw a huge spike behind dunks where like every pair was over 200 bucks so now to be able to get a clean pair that's similar to the neutral gray air jordan one low i think this is a great option and something that had to be on this list as well and another shoe that's similar to those but a little bit different and still technically a jordan we have the ajko union collaboration that's going to be a white and gray colorway similar to the dunks but it's just a little bit different of shape and then obviously materials with the canvas on the upper but the price is just around that same price 130 bucks somewhere around there which i think is I don't remember how much the retail was on this shoe, but either way, it's right around that retail value. So to be able to get a collaboration sneaker at an affordable price, definitely great for the summertime, but you gotta be wary about the materials and messing it up, getting dirty, different factors like that. I still think it's worth adding to the list because I know a lot of people talk about this shoe. Once they get it and start rocking it, they love it. Everybody is always raving about it after they get the shoe. And it might even fall in that sleeper category when it comes to affordable options. Speaking of that, we should make a sleeper video because there's a lot of shoes out there that's gonna be worth some good money that people are sleeping on right now. But don't worry, we'll get to that. We got a lot more shoes to go in today's video. I know I said it was 15, but after I just got done looking at the list, we got about 20 different options. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Now this next shoe, I just chose one and then I started digging and I was like, bruh, there's a lot of bangers that are really affordable right now that I truly feel like are great deals for under 150 bucks. And I'm talking about Nike LeBron sneakers, the old school shoes that we used to love, covet, samples, you name it. They're starting to retro in current time and people are not taking advantage of it. They're dope, they're comfortable, they're amazing colorways. So I wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of these as well because I know for me, an older collector, those nostalgic times, it means a lot for us. And it's actually super cool that we can actually get these sneakers now at affordable prices and not have to worry about paying astronomical prices for every single release, especially when it comes to the LeBrons. And we have all those attachments with memories of the eras and things like that. So let's go ahead and run through about three or four, maybe even five different options for you guys for some LeBrons. Right here we have the Shop Nike LeBron 3. This shoe right here, to see them be around 110 bucks, this is a great deal. It is size 13 too. You might be able to get these for like under a hundred bucks if you're a smaller size shoe. But either way, I think this is a great option if you wanna get some of those older numbers and switch it up a little bit, have some diversity in your collection. I think these are gonna be great shoes to grab now because later down the line, I truly think that these are gonna be worth more money. And this is that time where things are settling and people are able to get shoes for good deals. And then four or five years from now, especially when LeBron retires, 
who knows? This might be a $500 shoe that everybody was like, oh, I remember back in the day when those used to be a hundred bucks. So I think investment purpose and then collection purpose, nostalgia, diversity, you can hit so many different buckets when it comes to these LeBrons. So let's show the next one. And that is the USA Nike LeBron 2, the Midnight Navy colorway. This is another clean shoe right here. We saw him rocking these during the Olympics. I added these to my collection as well. I love this shoe. To be able to grab these for just over a hundred bucks, I think it's another great deal. And it's also super dope to be able to pull something out a little bit different we see a lot of people rocking jordan ones and fours and dunks and different things like that bringing out some nostalgia catching a couple eyes i think this is definitely a dope shoe to add to the collection and if you take the strap off with all the lasering on the side of the shoe i think is another dope detail to the shoe so for me i personally love these and i think another great option for under 150 bucks and before we go to some of the higher number lebrons we can't forget to mention the oiler lebron threes the fact that these are just around $100 and this used to be like a $1,000 shoe back in the day. And then when it retroed, everybody slept on it. A great shoe. I'm telling you, these are so fire. I used to have the OG sample and I actually got rid of them because I saw the retro was coming out and then I decided not to get them. But then when I saw the prices now, as they've been slowly declining over the years, <laughs> don't be surprised if you see me adding these back to my collection soon. And another sleeper and comfortable shoe, we have the Nike LeBron 8 V2, the Sprite colorway. I don't know about you, but if you were in the Nike basketball era back in that 2012 to 2015 era, trust me when I tell you, this was a fire sneaker. Oh my gosh. I used to love having these in my collection. I got rid of them. But now again, I'm in this situation where I'm kind of getting them all back, getting the different retro. So I know I'm helping you guys out, but I'm also doing a little bit shopping at the same time. So don't be surprised if you see me add these to my collection too. And yet again, another sample that became a shoe that came to life, the Hardwood Classic Nike LeBron 8. I added those to my collection. I made a video of them about those in the past as well. Great shoe. I love these. Amazing quality. They did. Obviously, they're not as good as the OG sample, but still, it's a great shoe. And to be able to grab these for... I, actually, speaking of that, I think I found a pair. I'm sure I made a TikTok about it, but I found a pair at a, a freaking Buffalo Exchange for like $65 or something like that. Some crazy. I don't remember exactly. I think it was $65, bucks, but they look like they were just tried on. Like, you can find this shoe for a really good deal. It's a dope addition to the collection. So, there's a bunch more LeBrons. If we want to make just specifically affordable LeBrons under a price, maybe we should make a separate video. I know I've gone on a tangent about four or five shoes already just in today's video. So, let's kick it to some other models and colorways but definitely when i tell you right now there's some sleepers out there take advantage of these deals on the lebrons because i don't think this is gonna last forever now having a quick little change of pace when it comes to brands i know you guys hear me talk a lot about jordans then nikes but the New Balances are killing it, and there's some dope colorways and some dope models, and I think this 9060 is honestly a really clean colorway that you could put with a lot of different fits and a dope looking shoe. This is the Team Forest Green colorway. We see them hitting for around 130 bucks. We got offers at 40 bucks, so who knows? You might even be able to grab this shoe for 80 bucks, 100 bucks, 60 bucks. I don't know, but at the end of the day, I think this is a really nice option, and if you guys want to see a little bit more diversity, let me know down below in the comment section, and we can start, you know, sprinkling in other models and brands as well, but you know I love me some J's, so I I like to talk about what I love the most. It's just, it is what it is. And speaking of that, back on the topic, let's show you guys a couple J's that I feel like, again, people are sleeping on, which is crazy to me. You have the DJ Khaled 5. These are hitting for around 150 bucks. We're seeing them hit outlets. They're going on sale, all the different things. I made videos about these in the past. Materials are amazing. I get it. You may or may not love Khaled, we the best. You might not think the colorway is the best for, you know, all these different outfits, but I think if you want something that's different and something cool for your collection with nice materials, I think for 150 bucks, this is a really, really good option. And I think a great sneaker to add to your rotation and switching it up and even testing yourself a little bit, trying to switch up the outfits and match with different things compared to going to your classic red, black, and whites, blue, whites, all the different things. Like we typically see true blue colorways, bread colorways on, you know, your classic stand or even college colorway when it comes to dunks and different things like that so i think it's a great shoe i love these i have in my collection done reviews in the past definitely a sleeper and another sleeper the citrus air jordan 7 oh my god 
<laughs> I've made videos about these in the past as well. I love these. I have them in my collection. I had the OG. I got the retro. Got them for my dad. I, I just really like this shoe a lot and I think it's a great shoe uh, to switch it up. Have a different model in your collection as well. Like I said before, ones, fours, elevens. That's like the standard models that everybody wants and then, you know, threes and then people start to trickle with maybe fives or sixes. But a lot of people sleep on the Air Jordan 7 and I know. Let me know down below in the comment section. We have some viewers that love the Air Jordan 7 and that's their favorite model. My, my favorite model is the Air Jordan 6, but it's a great shoe. It's a comfortable shoe. It's a dope shoe. I get it. Yes, it's not leather, so you can mess it up potentially with the suede on the upper, but it's a clean looking shoe. You can wear it in summertime, the fall time, whatever. Again, rainy, you got to figure that out. But at the end of the day, a great addition to the collection. I love these. I have so many memories with this shoe. So for me, I always recommend somebody grabbing this sneaker if they're just getting into the game or looking for an affordable retro. And speaking of affordable, this one is essential. You have to have this. At least that's how I feel. The Nike Presto, the black and white colorway or the triple black. You can get these for under retail around like 70 bucks. You can find these for really good deals. Catch them on sale, different stores, go to your local Foot Locker, you name it. I'm telling you right now, if anybody in the comment section, please let these people know. If you own a pair of Prestos, bruh, tell them how amazing this shoe is. It's so versatile, it's comfortable, you can't really dress it up, but at the end of the day, it's still an amazing shoe. One of my favorite comfy shoes out there. I have so many different colorways of this sneaker, not just off-white Prestos, but literally going on Nike ID and making my own for Nike by you, different stuff like that. So I always talk about Prestos when I make short form content and I'm walking through like a, a Foot Locker or something like that because there's literally a pair of Prestos every time I go into a store. You don't have to always buy hype shoes all the time trust me it's a nice shoe and since we're on the topic for essentials i think this is another essential key piece in staple shoe in the game right now i don't have them i don't want them but i know everybody loves them and you can't go wrong with it i can't deny it the nike panda dunk low they used to be like 300 and now they're affordable you can get them for you know 130 bucks 150 bucks somewhere around there and actually be able to you know just pay a little bit over the retail price or catch them on a restock for the 17th time because they literally restock like every other week at this point but this is a great shoe it's becoming like that standard like all white air force one and then for the dunks it's like the panda dunk low it's like whatever everybody's rocking with so i think it's a great option i think a lot of people love it it makes sense again you can wear it with a lot of things i have seen people dress that one up and dress it down don't really know how much comfortable like when it comes to how comfortable the shoe is but it's, it's a pair of dunks you know what i'm saying you might have to switch out the insole or something like that to make it more comfortable but either way a great shoe to add to the collection so i had to put them on the list I don't love them or hate them. I'm just not like a fan of them. And I don't really want to add them to my collection or put them in my rotation. But at the same time, you got to respect game. Yo, sorry to interrupt the video. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I just wanted to let you guys know we got some new stuff coming to the shopdnashow.com website. So make sure you guys go check that out. We got mesh shorts coming soon as well. There's going to be a bunch of different items linked directly underneath the video right here. That'll also push you directly to the website as well. So make sure you guys go check that out. We got some new hot drops. I'm going to see you guys at sneak con because i got some new stuff coming for that city exclusive stuff for vegas and bay area Shh, stay tuned for that but either way i just wanted to let you guys know and give you a quick update let's get back to the video another shoe that i have a lot of respect for the new balance 550 you got the white and green colorway clean you can rock this with a lot of different things you got the white and black colorway and i'm sure there's a lot of other essential colorways out there you got white gray white blue you name it the classic university type colors when it comes to those but this shoe is affordable you can get it for just over 100 bucks and i do remember at one time similar to the dunks like everybody wanted this shoe as a trending sneaker but it's a classic model you can't really mess up with it so even if you're catching it late or whatever it may be you can still add it to the collection and now you can actually get it at an affordable price so again like i said when i walk into Foot Locker, champs you name it all the different stores when i hit the retail shops doing the tiktoks and stuff what do i see i see that model sitting in the stores and i'm like damn those are clean it's a nice shoe so i think another great addition and if you want to switch it up or have something that's a little bit different than a rotation definitely a nice ad let me know what you guys think about those down below in the comment section as well but i really like this shoe a lot and one shoe that i love and i was waiting for the price to go down and it happened i had a feeling the nike airship literally like 
every colorway now is very affordable. I'm talking about just over 100 bucks. We're talking about collaborations besides the Amaz, but we're talking about like the Nigel style collaborations and, and then the regular colorways with the green, the yellow, the red, the, you know what I'm saying? Like all these different options are affordable and the shoe is fire. It's giving you classic nostalgic vibes. It's giving that OG look. It goes with a lot of different outfits. You can dress it up, dress it down. Same thing like I've been talking about. I wanted to try to curate a list of sneakers that are affordable, worth it, and it's something that's gonna make you happy to rock. And I think they did an amazing job when it comes to materials on the shoes as well. Well, I can't say it's the best, but they did a really good job higher than the standard that I thought. So because of that, I think it's a great addition to the collection. I think a lot of people that have them love them. And then probably a lot of people can attest to that down below in the comment section. So if you were considering the airships, I think right now is a really good time to find a good deal, especially if you wanted to get a used pair and maybe even grab them to somebody. Somebody might sell them for 50 bucks, 80 bucks, you know, 40 bucks. Who knows? You might be able to even get them for a crazy still like that and maybe clean them up disinfect them real quick and next thing you know you got a clean shoe for your rotation so definitely something to consider and now I can start pulling the trigger on completing that set and putting them all together because I have the airships from the new beginning pack and uh, the OG black band airship that you know like they came out a few years ago but these ones in particular the new retros that are coming out I really like these as well so like I said, I'm doing a little bit of shopping too. Okay, so we got two shoes left and I know there are more affordable SB options, but I wanted to make sure I threw these SBs in and it's the Black Gum SB Dunk Low. I know SBs are still hot. I know people still like dunks. It makes sense. It's a great shoe. It's universal. It's got the gum bottom on them. It's a clean, clean shoe. And I think to be able to grab these for around 130, 140 bucks. And like I said, if you're a smaller size, you might be able to get these for even cheaper. But this is a really, really cool shoe. I like these a lot. And I was low key literally just looking at these last week about it because I was like man I'll be rocking the Metacom dunks the black with the, you know like the pony hair and everything but I think the black gum pair is just a little bit less loud when it comes to just you know the materials on the upper so I'm definitely considering adding those to my collection I think it's a nice addition to the rotation and I feel like something that we had to throw on the list and again if you guys want to see other top 10 lists make sure you guys give me ideas down below in the comment section so I can get them out for you guys because I want to help you guys find affordable options or get put on the game to sneakers that you may have never heard of before and last but not least for this video we have the lucky green air jordan 1 high og it's crazy to think that shoes like this used to hit for a few hundred bucks literally a couple years ago and now at this point they're going for under retail and i am not mad at that at all i love this colorway i've done the review i've compared them to the celtics ones and the differences i think that the green is a little bit too vibrant i wish it would have been a little bit deeper green but we talked about that in comparison either way great shoe to be able to grab these for around 150 bucks i think is another great option and if you want to you know just start grabbing air jordan man we should make an affordable Air Jordan 1s video. I've done that in the past, but I think it's time again because prices have changed, shoes have dropped, and there are some great options out there right now. Either way, I'm excited to be able to make this video for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it, and I look forward to making more in the future for you. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Hey, the only hey, choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA